Welcome to another session from LearnReason.com. My name's Matt, and today I'm really happy because I figured out how to use Tune Tracks Superior Drummer in Reason, and it works flawlessly, extremely easy, and it's going to blow your mind. I, I own Superior Drummer, and I love it. I, I own Easy Drummer. I love it, but you know I've always had this problem that I want to be able to use Easy Drummer or uh, Superior Drummer in Reason, and I finally figured out how to do it. And I'm going to show you how to do it, and it's 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 going to rock the world. I tell you, I just love this. So if you're up, I'm using a Mac. So the only thing you really have to do is you have to have a virtual MIDI cable that the the external MIDI device in Reason can use. So if you're in a Mac, I'm going to show you how to do it in a Mac, and if you're in Windows, you just have to find uh, a program that's a virtual MIDI cable, and there's just tons of them out there. Just make one MIDI cable, and so you can access it in the external MIDI device in Reason. In my Mac, I go to my MIDI audio setup right here, and then I go to the window up here, I go show MIDI window, and you'll see right over here it says IAC driver. Just double click on that, and plus one right here, and then I name it. I name it Tune Track because I'm going to use this with Tune Track, and then I uh, I'm going to name this driver. You can name the driver whatever you want. This is what it's going to say out here, and I just I I name it Tune Track. You can name it anything you want. But this is the actual port. This is the actual name of the device out here. I press apply. I can X out of that. And now we have it there. And we can, uh, we can close out of our MIDI setup. Don't need it anymore. Now I'm going to open up Reason. And I'm going to press F8. And I'm going to make an uh, external MIDI device. And it makes it right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm going to bring this down just a smidge. I'll, I'll I'll show you why in a second. Just a smidge. Okay. Now I'm going to open up Tune Tracks Solo Player, and this you it's free to download. And I'm going to open up Superior Drummer. Okay. Now everything I'm showing you here you have to have Superior Drummer because it has an option that Easy Drummer and the Easy X uh, plugins do not have. And it's called, it has offline bouncing and I'm going to show you how significant this is uh, in a little bit. So I have my Superior Drummer here opened up and I'm using the solo player and I just, I'm going to put it all the way up to the top right here and now I just go into the audio driver. I'm going to make this, I'm going to have this use the same audio. Uh, I'm using my 11 rack because I want to use my 11 rack guitars. So I'm using it as my audio. You can use any audio you want. You can use your built in, whatever you want. And then you go up here and you choose MIDI device. So I'm going to choose the tune track port that I made, right? And then I'm going to. Then I'm going to open up uh, Reason. You can see I, I made how I did this. Now I can easily go back and forth to Superior Drummer that easy. So what I can do, I can press W and I can, I can go right in here, right? Oop, forget that. So I'm going to go back into Reason here. I'm going to select the port right there, Tune Track, in the external MIDI device. And now in Reason, I can double click here and I can play. So you can use your keyboard to play in anything you want. You could use your E kit to play in to Superior Drummer and you can record your performance. If you were going to, anything you're using here, you have to go up to Reason here in the preferences. And you go to control services and just, just have to make sure the controller that you want to use is has been detected here. So when you play it, it will play 
superior drummer. It's that simple. So I could just, I'll press loop and I could just press right here and I can uh, record it in. Okay, now it's, it's playing it. And it's that simple. I could record it in with my E kit or whatever I want. Okay, so I've shown you that. So now, let's go back here. Let's go into Superior Drummer, and we can go right up here to the grooves, and let's just select a groove here that we like. Eh, maybe this half open. And just press play. Ah, maybe rock open. So you can go through all these, and you, you know, it comes with tons of grooves. You can see what this does is that it, un it unlocks all of Tune Tracks drum kits and MIDI files for you to use in Reason. I'm just gonna minimize this so I can just drag this right to my desktop, right? Okay, and we'll, we'll open up Reason again. So I'm just going to go right up here to File, and I'm going to import the MIDI file. I'm going to go to Desktop, and, I, and there it is. I'm hoping they fix this one day where you can just drag a, a MIDI file right into the, you know, the, the track you want. So I'm just going to put that guy right up there, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of him because I'm not using him. So, here goes my drums. It's that simple. And so now I can go in here and edit this, this, this beat that I just dragged in. And one thing you have to understand is, let's go back here to the mixer. Your volume control, while you are recording and editing your drums using the sequencer in Reason to control the drum sound and everything, you have to do it from here. You can do it with the mixer here. Uh, your main volume would be right here, your main output right there. And you can also use this, this master volume right here. Just like that. You know, but in, in Superior now, you have access to this whole drum mixer and the various plugins that are in it. You have your bleed control. It's unprecedented control for drums and these drums are the best in the business they sound amazing and there's tons of kits that you can get it just unlocks tune track superior drummer in reason I'm just I'm beside myself so now you can use your other devices in reason so let's listen to this I got my uh, I got a little dr. Rex going here and it, it will work with your, you know, because you're you sequenced right here in Reason. I can I can up the tempo. It works. Okay, now if we want, I'm just going to show you a little thing here. If if you're one of these people that wants to meticulously edit your drums, you can always go right up here, go into your tool window here, go down to extract notes, uh, to explode, and now you have all your different instruments right here that it can be really easy to edit your drums. You're editing your drums from here, and you're editing superior drums, superior drummer, right? So let's go back here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you here. So you're done, I'm gonna duplicate this. You're feeling good about it, everything's perfect, it's played in right, programmed in right, it's nice. And what you wanna do is, you know, go back up into Superior Drummer, but, and make sure you have a good relative volume, maybe a little louder than what you're hearing. You know, just a, a good relative. I, you know, I like to be just a smidge louder. And then you can get right here. One thing also is, you know, when you go to bounce everything, 
If you want to use your mixer settings here, that's fine. Or if you don't, you want to set all these things to Unity, which is, uh, you can just command click these. You can command click all of them. And, you know, so on. And so you have everything set, right? I'm going to go back here into uh, Reason. I'm going to set that all the way to the back. And, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Bounce. And I'm going to go right up here to Split Microphone. And that's going to split everything out to separate tracks. I want all bleed. I want everything. I'm going to press Record. I'm going to go back into Reason. I'm going to turn the loop off. I'm going to press play. Okay, I just recorded that into, into Superior. Now I'm going to bounce it and to my desktop. I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call it Tune Track, uh, or you could call it the name of your song. That would probably be wiser. And I'm going to, it's going to bounce all the, Every single track here with a WAV file. This is just beautiful. Close. And I want them to start here, so I put the cursor back there. I'm going to import audio file. I'm going to go to Tune Track. I'm and and then right here, all of them, boom. All of them right into Reason separate tracks, named, it's a miracle. Put it on loop. Okay, so I'll just go right in here. So I'm just gonna select all these. And I'm going to route to a new bus real quick. I mean, look at all these drum tracks I have to really hone in on my drums. I'm going to press uh, a little drum sub in there or put a little drum sub in there and I can have a drum sub. So now I can go through here and start uh, really, I have super control over my drum sound. Oops, right there. And uh, this is just amazing. Reason, it's easy to use Superior Drummer and all the EZX uh, programs in Reason. You just have to have Superior Drummer because it's the only one that has this bounce feature. And this bounce feature is it's just amazing. It's how you get everything you've done, all you've edited and everything, you just bounce it right in, load it in, and you saw how easy it was. It's just unbelievable. And of course, with Superior Drummer, you can use all the Easy X ones. Open them right up here. This is uh, Easy Drummer, uh, and all the other ones, right there. So, I, you know, I'm just blown away by this. So, I really hope this helps you guys out, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And, you know, please share this. Let everybody know in the world that Superior Drummer can be used in Reason. It just unlocks the drumming, the major drumming world to reason. And all the e-drummers out there with your e-kits, you can, it's so easy to configure your e-kit in Superior Drummer when you go to your mapping and you can just, it's just, it's so easy to use your e-kit right here in this map with the mapping feature on its superior and, I, and I'm not joking it's it's unbelievable so I look forward to seeing you in the next video and you guys take care and please come join us on our social networks share don't keep all this to yourself together we can all learn rock on